So, Eric, what, what have been the key challenges for the design team over the winter and, and how has it dealt with those? Well, the usual challenge uh, is like every winter, 93% of the car is brand new. Uh, but obviously this year we had another uh, challenge, which was the uh, integration of the new Renault Power unit, uh, which, which has a different layout compared with the Honda engine. And that partnership with Renault, how, how confident are you that it will, it will be a success? You know, it's a bit like uh, when you see the driver of, uh, after the first lap, when you saw Fernando this morning, you know, with a big smile on his face. Uh, if you wait after the first meeting when you met your new partner and you just watch your engineers and, and if they are smiling and are eager to, and, and to work or demanding, uh, that means you click something good. A year ago, it was a, a very different situation you were dealing with. How optimistic are you? 12 months on, that, that things will be very different for you this year? <laughs> you have to be optimistic always, but uh, realistic in the same time. So there is a, a challenge. Uh, the competitor level is quite high, so obviously there will be a lot of fight on track. Uh, it's a new relationship we are entering in with Renault. Uh, so we have a lot to come, and, uh, and I think there will be a lot more to come in the future. Uh, it's a new story and we also have now been through another step in the car development and the car design. Uh, so I think everything, everything we are, I don't, be, I don't think we have tr left any stone unturned, but uh, try to do the best, uh, the best to, to be better and it's going to be just the uh, best to come. In terms of the technical regulations, they're relatively stable, but Halo has come in amongst other minor tweaks. Uh, how has that been to, to put on the car? What sort of challenges has that presented? Well, the Halo, obviously, first challenge was the weight, and the second challenge was the distraction, I would say, in the airflow around the car. So a lot of, a lot of a loss uh, in performance regarding the aero, uh, so we had to recover this and that's been uh, the main target over the winter. And in terms of the, the general direction in which the sport is headed, uh, are you optimistic about that? I think it's, uh, the, the sport is going, from what I hear, is going to the right direction. I mean, it's, it's going to be a different formula one in the future. Uh, definitely the fans are more listened and will be more listened uh, in the future. So I think the sport is heading in the right direction. We still have to see the this is a final calls. In terms of Fernando Alonso and, and his mindset compared to maybe a year ago, uh, he seems very happy. He's got a smile on his face. He's got a lot on his plate this year as well. But is that the, the best way for Fernando Alonso to be? This is the best way for Fernando to be. I mean, first to see him smiling this morning, it's obviously the best reward we can have after a long, a long, wi a long winter. Um, and I know he, the more busy he is, uh, the best fit he is, and, and the more eager to win he will be. And Stoffel, his teammate, is someone, of course, that you know very well and have for a long time. It's an important year for him. Um, are you looking forward to see, now that he has a more reliable package, I suppose, just how well he can do? Yeah, because he... He will be able now straight out of the box to do all the laps. Uh, hopefully, he needs also to build his own confidence and his own experience. Uh, and I think he will deliver what we expected from him. Uh, and I think we have a best driver pair on the, in the pit lane. So let's see now 2018.